Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your weekly singles love reading for Libra. How are you guys, single Libras? Let's see where your energy's at this week. Oh, Ooh, this is nice. Overall energy, the bone collector. Someone here is pretty happy they're piecing things together. See, someone's putting the puzzle together. <laughs> Collecting bones. Someone's coming to life. They have an idea that someone's gaining clarity. So they're piecing things together. It's also someone who's put themselves back together. So it's somebody who's ready here. Okay, coming to life, an idea, a spark. Beautiful. Ooh, yeah, this is somebody definitely flying high, feeling really positive. It's somebody who's free from a situation. So it's a sense of freedom. Okay, someone has set themselves free. They're putting themselves back together, but they're now piecing the pieces together. They're ready for something. They're coming to life. Someone's feeling very positive. <laughs> yeah, well, that sense of freedom is often when someone's in their feels. Let's have a look at this bone collector energy for Libra. Yeah, see, someone here wasn't sure. They were definitely deep in their emotions. This is a person who chooses when they're ready. See, this is somebody who wasn't ready. They may feel they missed an opportunity, but they put themselves back together. So it's, a, it's an energy of mending. But they're also collecting information, putting the pieces of the puzzle together. <laughs> Oh, yeah. There we go. C7. The C is an energy of being patient. See, someone here is it's an energy of patience. Something to do with the timing. Yeah, someone's coming to life. They're coming up with an idea. They're feeling very positive. Beautiful. Yeah, the moon. See, somebody was in their feelings, feeling a little confused, a little uncertain. This is someone who often goes very deep in their feelings. So it has to do with timing. So it's often a person who's Maybe a little fear of rejection here, but they're like I say, they want to start something new and they're coming to life here. Yeah. And we have, yeah, so we have somebody who's patiently waiting, but this is an energy of someone here who's, it's a situation that's coming to fruition. Okay, someone's putting the pieces together, collecting information, gathering out. Yeah. Someone who's been moving kind of slow. We have someone just kind of waiting patiently. Yeah, this is someone here assessing it. So someone's assessing this. Some of, if you are a person waiting, Libra, you may be assessing this person. Maybe they're moving a little slow. You're not sure if you want to keep waiting or investing in this because it's confusing. But it's just this person who feels they weren't ready for something here. See, they were deep in their emotions. Somebody was emotionally drained. So it's a person just putting themselves back together. So like I say, it's an energy of needing to be patient. Yeah, I feel this situation is going to come to fruition. Yeah, we have someone ready to take a leap of faith. See, it's an energy of someone reflecting on their past, leaving in the past, going down this path, coming to life. Yeah, very nice. Someone's ready to go down this path. They're coming up with some kind of idea to communicate. It's just communicating. They want it to be successful. <laughs> this is someone who's been focused on their money, things like that. You know, just kind of assessing this. But it's a person slow and steady wins the race. Now you've got somebody who's, I feel, ready to take that leap of faith. They're going for it. Look at that, the chariot coming in to take control. So it's someone who's been assessing this. I don't know if they feel they missed an opportunity, but there is a little fear of rejection, but they're going to push through that fear, the moon energy, the confusion, and go for it. Seven of emotions. Yeah, they're looking at how things play out. They're kind of planning, preparing. It's possible you might reject them, but you can see this flying. They're feeling very, very positive. <laughs> You know, it's an energy of that freedom energy where they broke free from a situation. They're coming in to take control, full steam ahead. Yeah, they see how this could play out. They're prepared for any possibility. Yeah, I don't think much going to get this person down right now. But like I say, they want to connect. See, it's a connecting with someone and seeing how it plays out. They want to talk. So, but this is a person who's broke free. They've taken back their power from someone who may have, I mean, there could be hurt, fear, rejection, but it's a person who's drained emotionally more than, more, more often than not, it's someone who's 
and, and a fear of rejection too, because it's someone who's been waiting patiently. So they're very aware of this energy of somebody waiting, okay? Which is could be yourself or it's yourself, you know, taking your time and this person waiting for you. So take it how it resonates. Let's have a look at the Four of Cups. What happened with someone's emotions? Yeah. See, it has to do with somebody here. It has to do with someone who's a good catch, but also has to do with release. See, catch and release. Mm -hmm. See, it has to do with connecting. See, it's about investing, two people investing. We have a King of Swords. Now, this could be a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. But this is a person who's analyzing this. See, it's Ten of Wands, baggage. Someone's letting go of some baggage. They were emotionally drained, but they've released it now because they see someone who's a good catch. So it's somebody who I feel dealt with somebody. They've either rejected them or this person did. Whatever happened, they were drained. But it's like they're releasing all this baggage. They're very solid. This is someone who knows what they want. Very wise. They're trusting their inner knowing. So this is someone who knows. There's a little confusion. They know. This is someone who knows themselves <laughs> quite well, but they want to connect. Yeah, there's the Ace of Pentacles. See, they're going to push through that energy and just go for it. But you can see this right in the heart of the reading is this slow and steady, assessing the situation, hoping it's successful, but they're just going to go for it. Living in the moment. You know, they're taking a risk. Nothing to fear, but fear itself kind of energy. This person solid as a rock. <laughs> very wise, very strong intuition. But we have a feminine energy here with the lady waiting for a pentacle. They're, you're waiting for this person, see, waiting for it to come to fruition. They're just piecing things together. You see, this is someone putting themselves back together. Yeah. But it's also information. Mm -hmm. The star, see, someone releasing things. See, this is someone who knows the situation didn't serve them. So it's like they may have got into a situation with somebody who they felt wasn't right for them. And then they're just releasing them. But it's someone releasing baggage. It's a Ten of Wands. Yeah. Because it's a situation that didn't serve. But this is, I feel, a feminine. It's their hopes and dreams. Everything they could ever want. So I wonder if you, you the feminine is the one who was the catch. You caught this person who was a good catch and then let them go and you're regretting it. Could go either way. But I feel like it's more like a past energy because someone's putting themselves back together, piecing things together to start something new. So it's somebody definitely healing. It's a six of cups, someone longing for love. But it has to do with whether it's mutual. See, it has to do with someone looking to see if this is mutual. If you both feel the same, I feel like you do. So because we have someone waiting. <laughs> Waiting for this pentacle, waiting for a situation, and someone's moving kind of slow. You know, somebody needs to hurry up. <laughs> I love it. Crack the whip. So this is somebody who might have got a little emotionally overwhelmed at some point here, too. Like I say, they were a little drained, tired, because it looks like they'd end in something. But it definitely, it's a situation that didn't serve. They released this baggage, so they're no longer holding on to this. But it is a, a quick review of the past because you can see looking into the past. So they've learned something. But it's an energy of crack in the whip. They need to hurry up. They know it too. And they're going to go for it here. Yeah, this person's trying to be a gentleman. <laughs> but they also know they need to hurry up. They need to make a decision. It's either offer the pentacle or just go away, whatever it is. Okay. But you can see that. This is somebody who's feeling pretty enthusiastic and they need to move it. Crack in the whip. There they are. This is someone getting tough on themselves, judging themselves. They know themselves too. So, yeah, but you can see they're a gentleman, but they have to push through that fear and take a leap of faith. You know, they've gone deep within their emotions. See, this is someone who's healed. They feel replenished. It's a sense of renewal. So they've gone very deep within their feelings. They're coming to life. They're waking up. See, they're coming up with an idea here as well. See, the light bulb's going off. A little aha moment. Yeah, this is, there it is. See, moving kind of slow, assessing it. See, longing for love. This is someone who longs for love. Now, it could be a single parent. 
So it's a person who's, like I say, a gentleman offering up the Ace of Cups, the emotion, something deeply emotional. But it's about pushing through the fear and taking a risk. This is someone who's generally not afraid of taking a risk. But it, they see it comes with risks. Rushing in too much. It looks like they've probably done it before. But I feel, again, it has the... Uh, the Knight of Pen uh, yeah, Knight of Pentacles energy of being sensible and practical, hoping this is successful. So it is someone longing for love. And they could be reminiscing, see, a review of their past, where they were, see, where they are now. So it's actually very positive. So they're definitely taking back their power from someone and they're taking the lead too. So they're very much not ruled by their emotion, but they are longing for love. And it's probably just a crush, you know, where they're crushing on someone here. And I see the lady and the gentleman. Very nice. Two people with good morals and values. I do feel it's mutual. And then we have the crossroads, six of wands. See, it's an energy of um, going down this path, taking the lead. See, they're looking at how this could all play out. And they're also looking at their past the path that they were on. So they've learned something here because they, they're they coming out of this wiser. It's about connecting, talking, uh, sharing feelings, emotions. They know it too. They likely were with, with somebody where there was a lack of emotional connection. But it's also an energy of, you know, seeing eye to eye friends. You know, they're hurrying up here. <laughs> <laughs> they're doing this to themselves. They're cracking the whip. They know they need to hurry. They've been assessing this for a while. And they've gone very deep. But they're feeling replenished. So this is someone who's, who's taken a bit of a break. Reviewing their past. And they're now ready to move forward. Very nice. Yeah. See, they've learned something. They've gone through a painful landing. They've learned a lot. But this is a painful period in someone's life is over. So the what I find is um, not only are they feeling really enthusiastic, they're rising like the phoenix from the ashes, literally. They took their power back from someone. They must have they may have cut somebody out here with the King of Swords because that person either rejected them, ignored them, or just drained their energy. Whatever it is that happened. I feel it doesn't matter to them anymore because they're letting it go. It doesn't serve. The situation didn't serve. But we also have a feminine here who's also looking at this. So both of you, see, review. You're connected by that fool. Reviewing the past, looking before you leap. Reminiscing about past relationships. But two people longing for love. Yeah. This is someone here, you know, it's two people's paths crossing, but this is someone who's ended a situation. They've learned, see, they've learned a lot, but they're also, like I say, fantasizing, romanticizing about connecting. They're feeling pretty good. They're flying high. <laughs> they're free of this past situation. The baggage, it's all gone, and now they feel like they need to hurry. Yeah. They do, and I, I feel they want to connect, they want to talk, they want to learn. It's about learning about each other. Ooh, yeah, see, it has to do with committing to that path, but it's a spark, an attraction. See, the fire's lit. There's no stopping it now. <laughs> There's no stopping this, because they're, you know, they're finished with this past situation. A painful period in their life is over. They've learned a lot about themselves, their self-worth, their value. I do see a lot of respect, but I also see uh, somebody here. You know, it's an energy of someone admiring someone here. There's a, some sort of admiration. But it's mutual. I feel like the feelings are mutual. This is two people, you know, a crush here. I don't know if it's single parents. It could be blended family. But it's also that child, something at the early stages. It could be someone giving someone a gift, too some kind of idea they're in a hurry they but i love that the gentleman's in the middle they're trying to take it slow but yet <laughs> they can't keep somebody waiting cracking the whip see this is someone who knows i i and i do feel this is someone who probably knows themselves they also don't like it when someone keeps them waiting so so there's a, there's some in, sense of impatience here but it has to do with the spark this attraction you see the world, it's time for change. They've moved on. 
Uh, they're ready to go down this path. So you know, they're going to they're going to go for it here. Yeah. See, it's an energy of time, time running out. They don't want to waste it. This is someone doesn't want to waste any more time. They don't want to waste someone else's time either because they know I can see they can see how the other person feels. The Ace of Pentacles. They put the shoe on the other foot, how they would feel. So, yeah, I like that. But they're so trying to be a gentleman. <laughs> That's, yeah, it's kind of funny. I mean, I got to be honest, this person's kind of like pulled in two different directions. Should I just move a little slower or should I like hurry up? Because they are a crack the whip kind of person. They wouldn't wait for somebody for too long. Mm -mm. So they know, but it has to do with the timing, timing everything just right here. Yeah, they want to get closer. They're taking a closer look. See, there's a spark and attraction. They know that look too. See, that's the Ace of Wands with the ring. It has to do with commit, making some kind of commitment. But it's just committing to the path. See, staying focused on this particular on the person, which is more than likely yourself, unless you're a masculine Libra. I see Aquarius here too. Could be anyone. I mean, they're stable, they're solid. They are, it is an energy of someone, it's about sh being dependable. But the closer look, let's see where this is going. Yeah, they're taking a leap of faith, both of you. You're, you're looking, both of you are looking before you leap. There's always a risk, right? There's always a risk. But this is pushing through that fear and, and getting close. Somebody wants to get you close. They want to get you alone. They want to talk. They want to have a, con a deep conversation. Yeah, very nice. I like this. Oh, they've gone deep within their emotions. And it could be someone too. Maybe they ignored you or rejected you. Maybe they feel now they missed an opportunity because they've, you know, let go of some baggage from the past. Obviously, this person was, like I say, very drained emotionally. Maybe just exhausted. Something was obviously going on. It's possible they got a little emotionally overwhelmed at some point. But it's more like they don't want to overwhelm you. That's what I feel. See, there's a risk here. Yeah, but they want to get close. Yeah, this is someone here, King of Wands, you see, cracking the whip. They know. They See, this is someone who's had that dark cloud over them. They're clearing things up, clearing things out. Yeah, see, they're ready to move forward. They're already moving forward. They're going to make a move here. There's movement. But it's about clearing out their past. And they're no, they know what they want. They're already determined here. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. See the moon clearing up confusion, illusion. See the moon. Both people feeling a little confused. So it's not a stagnant energy, but it's an energy where two people are deep in their feelings. It has to do with whether it's mutual. They don't know for sure, but they know if they move any slower, they're going to miss this opportunity. And if they move too fast, it's a little bit of a risk. They could overwhelm you. Because this is someone who's been overwhelmed before. Like I say, with that Ace of Pentacles, the lady, they don't want to over overwhelm. But they've been in those shoes. Yeah, see, now we have the Queen of Cups. Interesting. Yeah. So this has to do with someone taking a risk. There's some kind of good news, the news of something new. Yeah, see, the stork brings this good news of new with the Queen of Cups, someone emotionally mature and available. This person's, like I say, I feel like it's mutual. Yeah, King of Cups, someone who's made peace with their past. See, they come in peace. They're very calm, very peaceful. They're planning and preparing. This is someone getting themselves ready. See, getting ready. Because something has ended, it's over. But with the Six of Wands... See, also letting go of their pride <laughs> and their ego, getting that under control. But I feel they took their power back from someone. They broke free from somebody, a situation. But they definitely want to get a closer look. And I see the Queen of Cups energy here with this, some kind of good news, a spark and attraction. This person's definitely made peace with their past. I feel this is someone who speaks truth. They're likely going to tell you the truth. They're basically an open book. They have nothing to hide. Okay, they have nothing to hide. Yeah, I feel either one of you. Nothing to hide. Yeah. King of Pentacles. Beautiful, yeah. So a little serendipity. Good luck. 
Uh, they feel this is someone feels, you know, the timing is right. They feel like they're feeling pretty lucky. But it has to do with the lovers too. You see, six of swords, taking time to get to know someone. So this is someone who's learned a lot of lessons. They've made peace with their past. And they're coming towards you. They want to get to know you. See, it's timing. But it's is, is the time right? They want to spend time. Yeah, this is an energy of someone who can't stop thinking about you. A relationship of significance. There's going to be a significant communication here too. Yeah, this person's single. See, it could be someone finding out you're single. It's possible you know each other. The child is often a youthful energy when you're young. But it doesn't have to be. Often it's just longing for love. Someone reminiscing about a past. The past situation with this person looked draining. It, And I also feel the feminine too. See, you're releasing a situation that no longer serves. Some of you have taken a risk and you've been in a situation that was confusing. Mystery, confusion, illusion, things that are hidden. You see, when someone rejects you, ignores you, you know, or you're just the feminine. I mean, it could be just a thanks, but no thanks. But the interesting thing is, is this is two people coming together. It's mutual. I feel the feelings are mutual. It's a, it's a more than likely a crush with two people who want love in their life. Nine of Pentacles, the anchor. Someone's this person's solid. They're dependable. They're reliable. They're in control of their emotions. They're their own anchor. So there's a lot of stability here. Yeah, really nice. See, significance, the key. The key is also communication. I wouldn't doubt if this is someone you, it could be someone who's been holding a torch. For some of you, it's someone who's been holding a torch. So there's something of significance here too for some of you. But that won't be for everybody. Yeah, they're in a hurry. They want to get things going. See a message, the rider, communication coming in. They're moving in fast. Whatever this is, it's done. They're rising like the phoenix. They're movement. See, there's a lot of movement here. Yeah, they're going to get this going. They're taking control, taking charge of the situation. You're going to be shocked and surprised what this piece of person has to tell you. Uh, six of uh, pentacles. They're going to reach out hoping you reciprocate. You're going to be, this person could be very generous. And I feel like you're going to be surprised at this. You might not even see this coming, to be honest. But whatever it is, it's a shock and a surprise. I don't know if you, it looks like you, maybe you're just going to run into each other. We have the crossroads. Two people who run into each other and there's just a spark and attraction. For some of you, that's all this is. And it's like about getting closer, getting to know each other, get, needing a closer look. <laughs> Cute. That's one of my favorite cards because that means someone's serious. Like this person's serious. They're sincere. They're a gentleman. So whatever they tell you, they're speaking truth. They're the oh, they're an open book. Yeah. I it could be a torch, like I say. Could be an opportunity that was missed with both of you. Maybe you both feel that way. I don't know, but we're gonna find out because we have a single person who's their own anchor. They're very stable. And I feel they're heading in your direction. Oh, yes, they are with that tower. You know, and that's another thing, too, the tower. It's not just a shock surprise, but there's something emotionally rewarding here with this connection, the some sort of conversation, what they tell you. Yeah, see, this is someone who's been sad. They're going to tell you the truth. There was sadness. See, someone who felt like there wasn't a lot of hope because they... They were definitely someone was in a very painful period in their life. It is over. They may not tell you everything right away, but whatever you ask this person, they'll tell you truth regardless. Okay? Yeah, because I feel like it's like they don't want to overwhelm. So, but you can see this is someone who felt like there was no hope at some point here. Somebody who was depressed. But you can see they're rising like the phoenix. And it could be yourself feeling there's no hope. This is why you could be coming very shocked, especially if it's someone you're longing for. You know, it's a crush. You're just waiting, like, come on already. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles, very stable. 
stable and grounded. Yeah, this is someone who fantasizes, romanticizes, looks into the future. Do you see yourself with this person? I would have to say yes, because I feel like you want to get close. You need to get closer, a closer look. Up close and personal. So this is somebody with respect, like they, they have a lot of respect. This is a person who's very gracious, someone who's gracious and, and balanced, kind, compassionate, um, beautiful, very much like the, the, the Queen of Cups is here. See, it's an energy of being comfortable. This is someone who wants to make you comfortable. If you can make this person feel comfortable, they'll tell you everything. But yeah, I do feel it's an energy if they don't want to make you feel uncomfortable. So I feel this somebody here is going to, whatever it is you want to know, they'll tell you. But I do feel this is both of you. Just I feel just company, spending time together, company, companionship, uh, possibly friends first. They won't care. Yeah. And this is something, there is a spark and a physical attraction. Yeah. But I, like I say, I feel this is someone who's ended a painful situation. So there's lessons been learned. Friends first, getting to know each other, and then sharing all your personal stories, information, whatever it is. Because they are an open book, but it's the lessons being learned. Whatever it's, and which is different for everyone. But there you go, Libra. You, some of you, it's a Gemini energy. Yep. See, coming in, planning, preparing for the best. A crush, a little gift. Someone here is going to try to get your attention. So it's an energy of getting someone's attention. Somebody may have failed and maybe they didn't get your attention or, you know, six of wands. Maybe other people were giving it to you. I don't know. But whatever it is, whatever they tell you is going to shock you. I don't think you're going to be overly surprised, to be honest. I mean, it's a shock factor, but I see you grounding yourself and looking at this. There's love here. It's a bond, a connection. You know, it's planning, preparing for success. A crush, someone giving someone gifts. It's an energy of someone giving someone attention. But they're planning and preparing it. See, they want it to be successful. They're determined that this is going to be successful. So, yeah. See, I feel both of you. I do think it's just a matter of getting comfortable um, if it is someone you've known before, it's an energy of getting reacquainted. But they're piecing things together. Someone's picking up the pieces of their life, basically. But they're also piecing together information, the things that they know. So some of you have had a connection of some kind with this person. But one thing I'll tell, about, tell you is, a lot of you, this is someone who's held a torch. Now, either you're holding the torch or they are. And I wouldn't even doubt if it's both of you. Because you're going to talk about these things. This person there, they can talk. They can, they're a good communicator. Very good. Yeah, and look at that King and Queen of Pentacles. See, making each other feel comfortable. It's going to feel like home. I don't think you're going to have trouble communicating. Because that's the feeling of home. King and Queen of Pentacles. Planning, preparing. Two people getting ready. Yeah, two single people enjoying the fruits of their labor. So very nice. See, single person, rock solid. See, they're going to show you, but they're going to give you a gift, show you they're interested, and then kind of, you know, level by level, step by step, until you start. It, it's either getting comfortable with each other because it's new or reacquainted. So a bit of, and you could just run into each other suddenly, like I say. But it's an energy of someone being patient. It's someone showing they're interested, that they're invested. And it's a, it looks like some kind of a gift, and they're hoping it pays off. Yeah. Some of you, I feel this person's kind of like two minds, though. Like one minute, they're kind of like, nah, this person isn't going to go for it. The next minute, they're feeling a lot more enthusiastic. So, And it is because they it's putting an end of the baggage from the past. See, fantasizing, romanticizing. They're looking at how their past played out, too. What happened? why it wasn't successful, why it didn't work. And they're going to apply that to this. So they're going to invest a lot of time and energy. Uh, they're definitely someone who gives gifts. Uh, they could be very generous. Yep, look at that. Crossroads, crossroads, step by step. And when you feel comfortable, when you feel ready, they're happy to just be friends. Yeah, look at that. King and Queen of Cups energy. 
Very, yeah, it's the start of something new. This could be a new person and just a crush. Um, but I do see talking about things as you go down this path. So very nice. Lots of happiness and joy. Two people very happy, feeling very comfortable with each other. It feels like home. But a lot of kindness, compassion, nurturing, caring energy. See, this is someone who really cares. So if it is someone you know, maybe you gave them a little gift to show them you cared. Maybe they didn't see it too. But whatever it is, there's so much happiness and joy. It's all going to come out in the open. It's like, where was that card? Right here. See things clearing up. The dark cloud hanging over them. There was sadness here. Somebody who was kind of sad. Well, they're no longer sad. They're now happy. And they are generally a happy, vibrational person. This isn't someone who's that Debbie Downer that's always depressed and negative. Not at all. Something had ended. But they're, they're coming out of it wiser. They're smarter. And they are an open book. See, they'll anything you want to know, they're an open book. See, the world cosmos is time for change. Uh, beautiful. You're going to go down this path. It's hard to say what it, where it goes, but it looks like you're just going to go with the flow, uh, get acquainted, get to know each other, and just go with the flow. Okay? I feel this is going to be easy, too. I don't think this is going to be hard. It's going to be very easy. It's, a, it's going to be a very peaceful connection. They're a very peaceful person, too. Very a lot. They like peace and quiet. They like... You know, like I say, it's two people the same who you know, kind of like a, a quiet, simpler lifestyle. But yet I see a lot of abundance and wealth between the two of you because I see teamwork. Two people who are stable emotionally, financially. Rock solid. But where it goes, it's hard to say because you're going to go with the flow. But it is an energy of change. Okay. Change of lifestyle. Um, I think this is, I don't even think you have to change much. It's like, it's just going to be easy. You're just going to flow together here. I don't, because when I see this, this is an energy where it's easy. This is a very peaceful, easy person, easy to get along with. But you can see the happiness, the serendipity, getting to know you, growing closer. So it's an, I feel it's either you're getting to know each other, it's new, or some of you, it's a new start with this person where you may have known them before. Maybe when you were even young. That's possible. It's not uncommon, that's for sure. But yeah, I mean, it's just some kind of good luck. See, getting acquainted, the key. This is someone, you know, the key to someone's heart here. I kid you not. I feel this is someone who's been holding a torch. So I wish you the best. Take care. We'll see you soon.